Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Burke, and if you're new here, this is where our curiosity meets AI-powered exploration to delve into the biggest questions about our universe, our past, and our future. Today, we're tackling something truly mind-blowing. Imagine looking out into the vastness of space, hundreds of light years away, and finding a hint, a potential sign of life? Well, buckle up, because scientists using the incredible James Webb Space Telescope might have just found the most promising signal yet. We're talking about an exoplanet called K218b. It's about 124 light years away, practically next door in cosmic terms, and it's larger than Earth, about 8.6 times the mass. Now, what makes K218b special is that it orbits its star within the habitable zone, that Goldilocks region, where temperatures could be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. In fact, astronomers, led by Professor Niku Madhusudan at the University of Cambridge, theorize K218b could be what they call a Hycean world. Picture this, a planet potentially covered entirely in a liquid water ocean with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Sounds pretty exotic, right? So the James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye in the sky, stared at K218b's atmosphere. And what did it find? Using its sensitive instruments, specifically the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, the team detected the chemical fingerprints of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. They might have even spotted hints of a related molecule, DMDS. Now here's the kicker. On Earth, DMS is almost exclusively produced by life, specifically tiny marine organisms like phytoplankton. Finding this molecule, potentially in concentrations thousands of times stronger than Earth's average, on a distant, water-rich world, that's huge. Madhusundan himself said that a Hycean world teeming with life is the scenario that best fits the data they have so far. Okay, deep breaths, everyone. Before we start planning interstellar meet and greets, it's crucial to understand what this isn't. The study authors themselves are very cautious. This is not a definitive discovery of alien life. They stress that more data is absolutely needed. Science works through skepticism and rigorous testing. It's possible that DMS could be produced by some unknown geological or chemical process on K218b that doesn't involve life at all. We're dealing with truly alien environments here. And there's debate even about the type of planet K218b is. While Madisudan's team favors the Hycean model, other experts like renowned astrophysicist Sarah Seeger from MIT, point out that interpretations differ wildly. Some models suggest it could be a scorching world with a magma ocean under its atmosphere, or maybe a mini Neptune, both pretty inhospitable scenarios. Seeger actually warns that enthusiasm is outpacing evidence and believes this finding might stay in the candidate category for a long time. Another point of skepticism comes from astrobiologist Eddie Schwederman. He notes that to sustain the amount of DMS suggested, the planet would need a production rate about 20 times higher than Earth's total DMS output. A high bar, though may be plausible in localized ocean areas. But he also points out something interesting. If DMS were present in these quantities, and being broken down by starlight, we'd expect to see ethane gas too. And guess what? Ethane seems to be missing, which makes him think maybe the DMS isn't there or our models are incomplete. Technically speaking, the detection is currently at what scientists call a three sigma level of significance. That sounds good, but for a confirmed scientific discovery, you typically need five sigma which means there's an incredibly tiny chance the signal is just random noise. So we're not quite there yet. So we stand 
at this fascinating, precarious edge. A potential hint wrapped in layers of necessary scientific caution. And this, for me, is where things get really profound. It forces us to step back and ask bigger questions, doesn't it? For centuries, humanity has looked up at the stars and wondered, are we alone? It's a question woven into our myths, our religions, our science fiction, and deep into our very consciousness. Finding even a potential sign of biological activity, like DMS, on a world like K218b touches that ancient nerve. Personally, I find myself caught between the rigorous skepticism demanded by science and the sheer unadulterated wonder of the possibility. This isn't just about chemistry in a distant atmosphere. It's about our place in the cosmos. If life can arise elsewhere, even microbial life producing simple molecules, does that mean life is common? Or is K218b an extraordinary exception? Either answer fundamentally shifts our understanding of the universe and our own significance within it. Professor Madhusudan raised a critical point. Are we even prepared for what confirmation might bring? We often imagine encountering intelligent life, little green men, you know? But the first definitive proof might be something like this, a chemical signature, subtle evidence of microbes we'll likely never see. How do we process that? How does that change how we view life itself? It also makes me think about our definition of life. We search for biosignatures based on life as we know it here on Earth. Things like oxygen, methane, and now DMS. But could life exist in forms so alien we wouldn't even recognize their signatures? This K218b finding, even if it turns out not to be life, pushes us to expand our imagination, to consider life as we don't know it. That's a humbling thought, forcing us to acknowledge the potential limits of our own Earth-centric perspective. Ultimately, this journey, the search, the hints, the painstaking verification is what drives us. It's that innate human curiosity, the very thing this channel is all about. Whether K218b holds life or not, the pursuit itself, powered by incredible tools like Webb and the brilliant minds analyzing the data, elevates us. It expands our horizons, challenges our assumptions, and reminds us that there are still immense mysteries waiting to be explored. It's a testament to our relentless desire to understand. But okay, stepping back from the cosmic perspective for a moment, even with all these caveats, this remains an incredibly exciting development in exoplanet science. It shows the sheer power of the James Webb Space Telescope and our ability to probe distant atmospheres. The team plans follow-up observations with Webb, hoping to get clearer data and potentially reach that higher confidence level. The data they used is also being released, so other independent teams can analyze it. That's how good science progresses. So what do you think? Does this philosophical angle resonate with you? Is this the breakthrough we've been waiting for? Or a fascinating but ultimately inconclusive finding? Could K218b be harboring life in its alien oceans? Let me know your thoughts, your theories, your hopes down in the comments below. I really want to hear what you make of this. If you found this exploration as fascinating as I did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell 
so you don't miss our next deep dive into the cosmos, science, history, and the mysteries of our existence. We're building a community of curious minds right here. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey today. Keep asking questions, stay curious, and let's keep exploring the incredible universe together. I'm Burke, and I'll see you in the next video.